My brothers and sisters, you are now watching the Gamer 2323, so just forget about the chores you're supposed to do. Put your feet up, get your Kool-Aid fried chicken popcorn, get whatever you may need. And I hope you enjoy the video. Resident Evil. If you ain't know, the Resident Evil 6 demo is out on PS3 and 360. Um, I'll keep in mind. Because, uh... <laughs> Keep in mind that um a lot of people ain't really feel feeling this demo and um in this video I'm, I'm gonna just you know discuss my thoughts about the demo I played with um Leon, Chris and Jake and uh, you know I, I just wanted to give my thoughts about the demo but before we even get into that let's realize this this is a demo a lot of people saying that this game sucks now and uh, yeah this is a demo. But, being as it, that it is a demo, I do have to judge Resident Evil 6 based off of what we played so far, and we've only played a demo. But just still keep, keep in mind that this is a demo. Now, um, Resident Evil 6, some pros and cons of this demo. You know, some pros are the running feels a lot smoother, and the turning around, like in Resident Evil 5, the running, it just felt clunky. The turning around felt clunky. I noticed in this one it feels a lot more smoother. You know, it works the same way, the same way you ran in Resident Evil 5. You press the same controls to run in this game, but it just feels more smoother. And they're actually, like, running instead of, like, doing a freaking... Shut up, let's go. You know, something as small as that. I liked it because you know now when you're running you actually run like in Resident Evil 5 like when you ran it was like yeah you were running but it was like almost like a jog so even something as small as that I like because it gives you more of a sense of survival I guess so I liked how they actually run now also when you're running I'm playing the demo on the Xbox 360 I don't know why but uh, you know um, when uh, you're running on Xbox is the left trigger, so on PS3 it should be L2. Um, so if, if so, if you're running on Xbox, you press the L the LT button, or on PS3 you press the uh, L2 button. And when you're running and you and you press that button, you'll then like slide on like the ground. And when you're sliding on the ground, you can do that to get behind cover, or you could run and slide and shoot your gun while sliding on the ground at the same time. So I like that a lot. You know, it gives you like a good way to get to cover quickly or a good new way to take out some people that's like that's like ahead of you and you know you're down on the ground sliding. So I like that a lot. Um, the cover system in this game. Which I wasn't too uh, fond of, you know, when you hear a cover system in Resident Evil, you're like, what the heck do I need a cover system for? I'm shooting zombies. I'm going to get back to that later, but the cover system in this game works surprisingly well. Because, you know, um, you're not used to having a cover system in Resident Evil, but I, I think the reason why it works so well is because it's pretty much like the Gears of War cover system. You know, when you're in cover, you can uh, peek over cover, then get back in it, or you can peek around the corner, then get back in cover, or you could jump over it, you know, so it works a lot like Gears, Gears of War, which is probably the reason why it works so well, but it worked for this game, so I had no complaints with that. Also, um, your partner actually does help you in this game. There was a lot of times when I was playing with either Leon, Chris, or uh, Jake, and I was actually like, like zombies like knock you to like the floor and then like they try to like freaking pounce on you or something. Like I noticed when I was always in those situations, your partner will actually stop what, what they're doing, go over to where you are and like kill whatever is around you. So I actually did notice that your partner actually does help. Like they're not stupid. So I thought that was impressive. But as far as the pros go, I think that's all the pros I found in this demo. So let's get to the cons. However, before I get to the cons, I will say this. Um, what I noticed is whatever character you're playing as, it really changes up the gameplay. So if you're playing with Leon, you feel more like you're playing that classic Resident Evil. You know, you're in the dark a lot more. You're going around these dark corners, these dark rooms. You can't really see nothing. You know, more scary moments. I will, as close as we can get to scary moments these days in Resident in, 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 in Res <laughs> Resident Evil. <laughs> what is wrong with me today? 
With Leon, you feel more like you're playing that classic Resident Evil. Uh, with Chris, I didn't like Chris's game. I don't, I don't know if it was just me. I didn't like Chris's gameplay at all. I felt like I was playing a third-person Call of Duty. I was getting behind cover a lot more, a lot of gunfire, a lot of explosions. I wasn't feeling it because it's Resident Evil. I didn't like Chris's gameplay at all. Jake, which is basically Wester Part Wet, I said Wester Wesker Part Two. I liked him a lot, and you know I really like his hand-to-hand -hand combat uh, because the dude can throw down with with the the fists and uh, the kicks. You know, so I liked his his gameplay is somewhere in between. You know. You get that, you kind of get that classic Res uh, Resident Evil feel, but at the same time, you kind of get that more action type. So he's kind of like Leon slash Chris mixed into one. So I did like that a lot, how whatever character you're playing as really changes up the gameplay. But I kind of hated it at, at the same time because Chris was just terrible. Now with the cons, um, like I said in that video right there, you know, I can't really say where Resident Evil just kind of lost its scariness factor because like I said Resident Evil 5 was the very first Resident Evil I actually bought because since Resident Evil 3 ne Nemesis that junk scared the crap out of me and I never played a, a Resident Evil until then so I hear a lot of people say that Resident Evil 4 was the best one the most scariest one then I hear a lot of people say that 3 was what I don't know because I only bought Resident Evil 5 but from my experience since Resident Evil 5 the series just has lost its scariness. It's just not scary no more. You don't get that survival feel where like you feel like you have to check every corner. You just do not get that no more. And this demo was no different. It's not scary. And even when you're playing with Leon, which is as close as you can get to that classic Resident Evil, you know, you just don't feel that scariness factor. You know, they I noticed this a lot in Leon's gameplay. A zombie would like appear to be dead. He's like, okay, Leon is, is about to walk past me. I'ma just as soon as he walks past me, I'ma just jump up and you know they did that a lot. Like a zombie would appear to be dead, you walk past him, then he jumps up. And I'm like, <laughs> dude, like they were really like stop doing like they did it so often to where I actually expected a dead body to arise and I was right every time. So I mean it it, it just it's not scary anymore and I think that's a bad thing because you know that's what Resident Evil is about it's about getting scared it's about not knowing what to expect around the next corner it's about wanting to play with the lights on you know so it Resident Evil I, I don't know I think that's a bad thing so that's definitely a con for me um the commands that you give out to your partners it works very inconsistently sometimes they'll do what what, what you want them to do sometimes they won't. I noticed when I was playing with Leon a lot, and you know the partner that I had, I don't, I don't even know that girl's name, but uh, you know, every time I would tell her to move in, you know, because there was a lot of dark corners in uh, Leon's gameplay, and I'm like, okay, I'm not scared, but I don't want to just go in there, so let me send him, so let me send my partner in there. Every time I would say move in, she's like, negative, no, and I'm like, dude, like, how does this work? So I'm not sure. If the if if the CPU AI move like moves in when they think it's completely safe, I'm not sure how that works. But the only command that they consistently followed was the follow. Like, come on, follow me. That's the only one they consistently followed. They didn't follow move in. Uh, uh, freaking uh, stay here. They, they they just don't follow it. So I'm not sure how that whole uh, partner command thing works. But it, at least in this experience in the demo it was very inconsistent um last but not least uh zombies have guns now now there's a new enemy in this game they are said to be stronger than your average zombie that just walks around slowly and tries to eat you they have a smarter type of zombie in this game you know they'll actually use cover they'll get behind stuff dude with guns and, you know, um, I mean, it's like, it depends on the type of gamer you have. If you have a diehard Resident Evil fan that's been playing this series since, you know, its glory days, I don't think they will like that. Because now it's like, like it goes back to what direction is Capcom trying to take this game in, you know. Um, when you have zombies with guns, you know, you get more used to you know, not being scared of these people, you know, you fight these zombies with guns like you would fight any other freaking thing if you was playing a freaking uh, Battlefield or Ghost Recon, you get behind cover and shoot them, so, you know, 
I didn't like that really. You know, it took away the scariness factor even more. You know, when you're playing with Chris, you know, you see a lot of those zombies. Those zombies that, yes, they're smarter, but they have guns, and it's just not scary. It's just not scary. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but there is a smarter type of zombie in this game. Um, so, you know, it, 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 it depends on what type of Resident Evil you want to play. If you want to play that scary one, I didn't like how the zombies have guns now, you know, but I guess that's what the whole cover system is for, so... But whatever. Um, but saying all that, uh, that's all I, I have to say about this uh, demo. You know, I said the pros, I said the cons, but really my biggest issue with this whole thing is Resident Evil is just not scary anymore. And I'm not sure if uh, that's the direction Capcom wants to take this game because, dude, like, I, I'm sure these developers listen to their fan base, right? Right, like, like I, mean, I, 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 I know these developers hear what their fan base is saying. So, I don't know if, like, at some points they completely just be like, screw what they think. Let's just make it. Like, I don't know, but um, it's definitely going in a different direction, you know. Um, but like I said, it goes back to you know whatever character you're playing as is going to you know change up the gameplay. So if you still kind of want that classic Resident Evil feel, you can play as Leon. If you want that basically call of duty third person you better be playing as chris if you want somewhere in in between then you can play as the second coming of west of of wesker and uh you know that's all i have to say about that but uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this video leave thoughts about what you thought about the resident evil 6 demo and stuff like that or a video response and until then i greatly appreciate if you rate the video it doesn't have to be a thumbs up it could be a thumbs down but what i do ask every brother and ever since it's just so saying that i'll catch you guys in my next video, and by the way, I probably will not be getting this game on release because I just don't look at it as a must buy, to be honest with you. Uh, to be honest with you. Uh, but saying that, I'll catch you on my next video, alright? Peace.